What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you the best settings to use for the Outer Worlds on your Steam Deck. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number, so if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Dab. Thank you for being a channel member. If you want to become a channel member and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. All right, to the video itself, and we are playing the Outer Worlds today on the Steam Deck, and this is basically what it looks like. We're getting... 40 to 60 frames per second at all times and this is during a sunset as we can see here it looks pretty wonderful and it's still only dropping to about 40 and it's sticking around 50 to 60 uh during most times we can walk around here and we'll see that it's a solid 40 as we get into the high vegetation areas um maybe not as solid here oh yeah it is 46 it was just updating there for a little bit but we have some very good frame rates here i think that this would lend really well for a 40 hertz setup or even a 30 hertz setup if you're uh comfortable with that but honestly i just run it like this it runs really well and when it is getting those 60 frames per second peaks it is kind of nice to see just how well this runs like we're looking at um some pretty far uh cliffs and vegetation here we're at steady 60 frames per second no problem 50 percent cpu usage we are using like 90 percent of the gpu but still it's it's a really nice looking game and you're getting the full experience here so what are my settings let's go ahead and hit start and go into the settings here now, as with most games, we cannot actually show the 1280 by 800 screen resolution because we're connected to a capture device, but just set this to 1280 by 800. Make sure that you get the full resolution of your Steam Deck. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll down here. We have our frame rate at 60, so we limit it to 60, so we're not trying to achieve any more. Vertical sync is on. 3D resolution at 100% because I do not like the blur that comes when you initially start it. We turn off motion blur completely. Gamma is at 40%, but you can adjust that to your liking based on your display. Um, on my display, 40 is about right. We do not use Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2. We have that off. And Field of View is set to 75. Now in the actual graphic settings, we have screen effects to low. Uh, screen space illumination off. View distance very high. Shadows to low, textures to medium. We don't have everything on low on this one. Uh, visual effects medium and foliage at medium. We also turn off chromatic operation. These are the ones that I feel like don't add so much to the experience that it affects anything really that you're going to notice. And it still has a solid, really nice looking uh, gameplay and uh, smoothness. So yeah, this is what I use. Runs really, really well. You can see it here. Um, we're hitting 60 frames per second at some points, 40 in others, but um, very, very playable, especially if you do cap it at that 40 hertz. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, be sure to click on that like button and uh, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech.